What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. There's still a combination of happy thoughts and a lot of mixed emotions over iOS 7, but that leads to the next question, what will the next gen iPhone really look like? Well, according to Apple Insider, accessory makers are already beginning to manufacture cases for the company's rumored low-cost iPhone, using designs believed to have originated from inside Apple headquarters. Now, the leak schematic suggests the low-cost iPhone will be slightly wider and taller than the rumored 5S that appears to have no major design change at all in these drawings. It also looks to be 0.8 millimeters thicker than the next flagship iPhone, and the back edges will be rounded off like the iPod Classic. Now, the alleged blueprints for the iPhone Lite shows off a single flash LED, while the 5S features a pill-shaped flash that's also rumored to be a dual LED flash for greater brightness. Now, even Mako Takara showed off a hands-on with a case from design firm MGM that was made based on the leak schematics. It actually fits the current iPhone 5, but its curved edges are clearly meant for another device. I would also never use a case that uses lime green and doo-doo brown together. Now, we've seen plenty of iOS 7, and I still like it. I'm a fan, even though a lot of you started using four-letter words on YouTube because Come on, I keep it real without the Apple Kool-Aid. There were words like, yeah, and copy, and those can be very hurtful. Now, we still haven't seen Apple release the beta version for the iPad, but that didn't stop my Russian YouTube comrade, Rosette Kid, who released a video of what he claims is the alpha version of iOS 7 running on an iPad. This hasn't been confirmed as legit, but when he brings up the control center, many of the options like a flashlight or access to the clock or calculator aren't there. Having no flash makes sense since current iPads don't have one. So either it just isn't ready or Apple is holding back because there might be some iPad specific features in it, like electrocuting people when they want to take pictures. All right, other images from user Hamza Sud show hidden settings inside iOS 7 that also show off the potential for multitasking and navigation gestures, including edge and corner swipes that might be more specific to a larger screen like the iPad as well. And one last tidbit, the Apple TV gets some new software beta love as well, and it's been revealed that the iTunes radio service and a new conference room mode is in the works. That's in the future, but recently, the Apple TV received a software update available to all of us that adds HBO Go and Watch ESPN to their lineup of services. You'll still need a subscription to the services through your cable provider to use the apps, but it's better late than ever and a welcome addition, so you guys should check that out. All right, our CNET team finally, finally got a chance to put the new MacBook Air through our tests. It looks exactly like the previous one, so here's a first look with CNET's own Dan the Man Ackerman. I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the new 2013 version of Apple's 13-inch MacBook Air. Now, of course, this looks a lot like the 2012 version, even kind of the one before that. The big differences this year are on the inside. Three main points to keep in mind. The first and most important one is that uh, this guy moves into Intel's new fourth generation Core i-series CPUs. You may have heard of them under the codename Haswell, and that means faster application performance, although, you know, most consumers don't really need uh, their CPUs to be that much faster. More importantly, uh, you get better battery life. Apple claims that this guy is going to run for 12 hours without needing a recharge. Uh, you also get an upgrade in the wireless to 802.11ac. Uh, of course, you're going to need one of the uh, new faster routers, and Apple uh, has this built into some of their hardware as well in order to take advantage of that, but it's a good way to sort of future-proof your setup. And Apple claims that the uh, flash storage they're using is also faster than uh, previous generation. Even though it doesn't have a lot of the high-end features that we'd kind of like, like a retina screen or edge-to-edge -edge glass over the display or a touch screen, uh, it's still one of the most universally useful laptops you can get, and now it's $100 less. Thanks, D. Now, Apple claims there's 12 hours of battery life for the 13-inch, but we squeezed out 14 hours and 41 minutes of video playback. Pretty awesome. All right, on to the quick bites. If you haven't tried it out recently, AT&T is quietly rolling out support for FaceTime over their cellular network. And even for those of you on their grandfathered unlimited data plan, it was a surprise to me recently. So, you know, maybe I should take this back from a year ago. FaceTime sucks on AT&T. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, music fans, you'll like this story. Kanye West's latest album, Yeezus, dropped this week. I'm not a fan of the name, but it's a super unique sound that I'm feeling. 
but in true Kanye form, he told the New York Times in an interview, I think what Kanye West is going to mean is something similar to what Steve Jobs means. I am undoubtedly, you know, Steve of internet, downtown, fashion, culture, period, by a long jump. Seriously? I do know one thing, Kanye. SJ never did this. Oh! Kanye! Oh, Kanye. Kanye, you okay? You okay? Oh! <laughs> oh. Man, uh, those street signs, they oh, just sneak Kanye. up on Kanye, you like you okay? that. Okay? And before we go, let's check out our iPhone app of the week. So many I've got to say thanks to my producer, Jamie, for this one. You're welcome, Brian. But you Apple biters have to check out Dumb Ways to Die. It's free, it's available on iOS and Android, and it's an awesome cartoonish collection of mini games that challenges you to do simple tasks under time pressure to prevent these cartoonish characters from dying. So you can swat away the wasps or connect balloons to avoid a train. Wait, seriously? I don't get what's so great about this. Woo, yeah, chasing the balloons. All right, God, I am hungry game. here today. Woo! Yeah, go, go, go! Oh, ja Jamie, what is this? Please what? don't waste to die. Oh, don't do. waste to... Oh, Jamie, yeah, cleared it. That is stupid. Woo. No one's gonna die like that. Are you what? serious? Get out of here, loser. Loser. Mm -hmm. Okay, playing little kitty games. Woo. Whatever the you say. Us. Trace the mustard. Ooh, cheesy Chris. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Huh. Where is this guy? I guess Brian's not here now, so uh, why don't you guys uh, send all your emails to the Apple Bite at CNET.com. And we'll catch you next time for another bite of the Apple. I guess he actually gets paid to do this. I don't know. Cheesy crisps. Mm.